Welcome to lesson one of the Andy Guitar Band program for bass. In this series we're going to be learning 21 songs on bass guitar and then we're going to be learning how to play these with the band, uh, with the Andy Guitar Band that I put together where we have live footage of my band playing all of these songs where you can see the bass part clearly, you can see what everybody else is playing because we're playing and singing all of these songs live. I'm really excited to be bringing you this series because the intention of it is to give you guys the feeling of playing with a real live band doing a gig, essentially. We're going to be covering all parts of each song on bass and then finally playing along to the full song along with the live band. It's going to be really, really fun. So be sure to check out the other videos in this playlist as soon as they're released. Let me know in the comments what you think of this series. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Share it with your friends and you never know, maybe one day you'll be playing on stage with a live band and I want to make that process as easy as possible to get you up to that level. This first song has to be one of the most famous bass lines and most recognizable bass lines of all time. But here's what I have to admit first of all. The original, we believe, was not played on a bass guitar, but it was played on a guitar with an octave pedal lowering it to the bass register. Now, I don't want to give the guitarist all the fun on this one, so we're of course going to be learning this legendary part on bass. And any of you guys that do know any drummers, you could even play this full song just with a bass guitar and a drummer, and we could use a distortion or overdrive pedal to make our bass guitars sound like electric guitars in the style of someone like Royal Blood, which are the modern equivalent of the White Stripes in many ways with just a drummer and a guitar player, a bass guitar in this case. And um, anything is possible. Don't let anything stop you from playing in a band if that's what you want to do. So here's what we're going to be learning and here's the main riff of Seven Nation Army. <laughs> And we do, of course, have the little build up there, but of course, that first part is so, so recognizable, so famous, and many a football chant has been sung to those notes. It can all be played with the first finger, which needs to be at the seventh fret of string three of the A string. And I'm going to be using a pick for most of this tutorial, but we can, of course, look at doing this kind of style. And we'll be looking more at that in video two of this series. I would play this with a pick. So we pick the seventh fret, we pick it again, and then we slide up to the tenth fret. That's the trick. Okay, I'm actually not going to pick it again. So I've only picked it twice. One, two, slide. And we need to keep that contact down. And we keep that thumb at the back of the neck and slide both up in this kind of fashion. We then lift off, but stay on the string. So we're kind of rolling or sliding down the string. Come back to that dot of the seventh fret. We're then going to hit both other dots on our bass guitars, which are at the fifth and then the third fret. So fifth fret, third. So seventh fret, fifth fret, and third fret. Finally, it's the second fret. Playing all of those notes with the first finger is absolutely fine. One more time. Super, super famous. If we were doing that with our fingers, we might just want to start by plucking it with the first finger to get used to it. You could use your first two. The most important thing with this hand though is that that thumb is resting on the pickup of your bass on top just like this at all times. Trust me, I am no massive authority on bass playing, but the one thing I do know is that. If we're using this kind of technique and we're not using a pick, that thumb has to be here, and you just want to make sure that you're relaxed from the shoulder. The, it does mean that we'll have this kink in our wrist, and that is absolutely natural and it's fine, because there should be no tension there at all. We're only moving our fingers. If we were to use that technique, it would look like this, and just using our first finger.
And that, of course, continues on through a lot of the song. So let's get straight with the band now. What we're going to be doing in this series is playing along to short clips of the band, and you're going to join in with us. I'm going to be slowing these clips down ever so slightly to make them easier to play along to, and then we'll play along to the full song a little later in this video. So Tom the drummer is going to count us in one, two, three, four with a, a four count on the sticks, and then you join in with Chris on the bass guitar, join in with him and we'll go for a verse. We'll pause it before the chorus, so don't worry about any of that. Just have fun and try and join in and play in time with Chris here. And I wish you the best of luck. So there's the main riff, I hope that was really fun for you. Before that chorus, we do have just a little lead into that, and I'm gonna go back to using uh, my pick now, but if you feel more comfortable, you could um, use this kind of technique, where we have that first finger and then second finger. Let's keep it simple now, we'll cover more on that technique in video two. We go really in depth in that, so I'm gonna just leave it at that for now. Um, and we're going to play eight times which we would count one and two and three and four and at the third fret. And then to the fifth fret, slide to that fifth fret. Remember to be at this side of the fret, not at this side of the fret. Otherwise at this side, we have to press down hard, much harder not to get that buzzing sound. So make sure we're at this side of the fret. Again, it's another eight. And then we would go back to the riff, okay? So we have that counting. Three, four, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and and then we're on the riff. We do of course have an extra bit to the riff only, only, only in the chorus. Only in the chorus, okay? But what happens is we have the normal riff and then of course Okay, that was exactly the same when we get to that third fret, the last dot on our bass guitars, little finger goes back to five, back to the first finger, and then the first finger at the second fret, okay? That is... And in total, the whole chorus would go like this. Three, four. Now I would say on the recording, though Chris didn't do this, just to make you aware, but I would also hit the open A at the end there. Not only is that how I believe the original goes, just from my research, uh, I also think it makes it much easier to go back and start that riff again. It makes it easier to get that part there. So that would be... And then we go there. That is all sections of Seven Nation Army. What we're going to do now is have a go at playing along to the full band. So this is the full live take, and you're going to be able to see my bass guitar here 
Uh, I'm going to play along to the full thing and you're going to always be able to see that at the bottom of the screen. I think that's going to really help many people and when I'm, I love, the inspiration for this course is very much my love of playing in a band but also playing along to live recordings that you can now find of any band on YouTube and playing along with your favourite bands and pretending you're there but sometimes you can't always see what they're playing and it is frustrating because sometimes we do want to. So that's what I'm offering with this course. You can see exactly what we're doing. You can play along with me and the band and get that feeling of playing along in a real band and I hope it inspires you to want to join a band or start your own. Now I don't expect anyone to get this perfectly first time and that is not the intention. The intention is to work through this and be able to work towards playing along to this. Uh, so there'll be another video that's separate to this that um, is the full live take. But here it is as well in its entirety so you can play along. Best of luck with this one. Here it comes, Seven Nation Army. So there we are guys, Seven Nation Army. Now as I say, I'm not expecting that 
to have gone perfectly, especially not if this is the first time you're playing bass. You need to go easy on yourself and the whole purpose of this course is this is something that we're working towards and hopefully you can see how this can be done, how you can take a simple riff or a simple bass part and then suddenly just learn a couple of extra things and see how it's done and then you can join into full band songs. And what you're working towards as well is to not only hopefully get it right once after a few attempts, if you really want to play in a band, you want to practice along to these takes long enough so that you can't get them wrong. That's what it takes to play live in a real band. That's the point of the rehearsals. It means practicing along to the same songs over and over again. Um, and that's half the reason we've got 21 songs as well. It gives you the option not to have to do all of these and this to be the set. You can pick your favorite 10 or 15 or 20. You don't have to do every single one of them, but it would be something for sure to work towards. So I hope you like this series. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Let me know a little bit about your journey and if you're starting a band. You can tag me in any posts you do on Instagram or Facebook. Just hashtag Andy Guitar or even upload your videos to YouTube as well. I'd love to see you guys playing some of these songs. Share it with your friends and I really hope it inspires you to join or start a band, but you can of course just play along to these videos to get that same or a similar feeling. And of course, I hope you will check out more videos from this course, which you can do right now.